this ship shows up a couple of times, so it's really a pain to have to draw that over and over and over again. So what I've done is used a free program called SketchUp. With this one, we can now make everything that we need to to create the reference images so that we can take this guy from here, rotate it around, and then put it in place here. And the way that I do that is actually on my iPad. So here we are with the original sort of sketch layout and we can see how that works and, and I can check the layers and because I've had the 3D model I can open that up and have a whole group of reference images. So what I'm going to want to do is take this reference image and drop the opacity down on that first layer just like I'm using a light box and then I'm going to drop the opacity down on this second layer and we can see that we can now move this around and get it to line up in the right place. I'm going to do a free transform. So once that's about in the right position, then I'm ready to start inking right over the top of it. And the reason that I'm doing it this way instead of just kind of like reusing the same image is that the pens that you use in the real world all have a different weight and a different line value to them. Something else that I do is sometimes I rest my hand here and use that as a guide. But always easy to zoom in, get a nice solid line. And the thing that I really like about drawing this way that is a little bit awkward is sometimes I'll be drawing with real pen and paper and I'll pinch the page and try and zoom in and zoom out, but that doesn't work in the real world. I talked about I have all of this I have all of this line work done. You know, we've got the, the outline border that's on a separate layer as well as all of those spaceships and, and the main ships and the debris. So now that's that that's done, I bring it into a different program and convert it to vector so that I can color it here in Illustrator. We see our line work is ready to go, and then here is the lines of our drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a color and now I can just click and fill the colors and then we'll do this and make it a little bit darker on the side over there a little bit darker still and now all of those colors can match as I fill in so now that it's all drawn watch this I copy everything and make a new layer and make it completely black and then drop that to 30 percent and so now everything has a shadow on it and then I just use the lasso tool to cut out the shapes and now it's shaded. And I usually do this a little bit cleaner. Ta-da! So one of the things that's really awesome is that kids today have a lot of the tools available to them that I couldn't even imagine. You can draw, you can color, you can do everything right on your iPad. You can 3D model in free software and then what can you do with that? You can actually have it printed. You can make your own toys. All of the things that you have access to, it's just amazing.